Hello and welcome back. In our last video we looked at how we could put a button and a, a label onto our screen one. Okay and again we created a new project called Hello World and uh, now we want to get this to work. Okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to the block section okay and have this doing something. Okay, so again, uh, sometimes referred to as event-driven programming, uh, this is where I want the button to do something. So if I come over here to the left-hand side, and I can see there, hello, uh, BTN, hello, this is what I've called it. And I'm going to click on it once, and you can see when I do that, it drags, I can see this uh, uh, code coming out here, and when BTN, hello, is clicked. So I'm going to drag that out here onto my work surface. I'll just make this a tad bigger so you can see it there. Okay, um, so when BTN uh, hello is clicked, I want something to happen. Well, what do I want to happen? Well, I want the, uh, so just, let's just bring up the emulator here. Um, when this is clicked, I want the label to say, hello Damien, okay, or hello world, or whatever we want. Okay, so let's, uh, we'll say hello world. Okay, so therefore I want it to display inside of the label. So if I come down here, you can see here I have LBL display. Okay, and what I want to do now is set the uh, text to something. Okay, so if I come down here, you can see there I have a few uh, blocks, if you want to call them like Lego blocks, that click into something. But this time I want to say, I want to set the, the value of LBL display okay and that's the text value of it so if i scroll down here you can see set lbl display dot text okay so lbl display is the component dot text is its contents so i'll drag that block out okay uh, so you can see here it has a socket to enable uh, some te something to be plugged into it and what i want to plug in is an actual text block now again, as I said, we had some stuff built in, our blocks, our code built in. And you can see here, one of them is text. So if I click on text, you can see there I have a, a, a lot of stuff in there. So if I come up here to the very top one, which is just an ordinary blank text box. Okay, and I'm going to drag that out here. And this is, again, this is the text that I want to appear. appear. You can see here there's inverted commas there. and then so, so I'll just say, hello world. Hello world. Okay, so this is what I the text that I want to appear. So I'm going to set the LBL display label to that. So I'll plug that block into this, and I want all this to happen when the button BTN hello is clicked. So I'll drag that up here and click it in there. So when this button is clicked, it will set the label text to hello world. Okay, let's test this out. I'll open up my uh, emulator here, and when I click on Say Hello, you can see here Hello World appears. And you can see here it's appearing in the text uh, size and color as what I had set it to earlier back in the default settings. Uh, another way to look at this is um, that we have that when this button is, uh, is clicked, it executed this line of code. Okay, again, we can get it to execute other lines of code as well. So, as I said there, back in the designer, I had set the default color to red for the label. Again, I could set, if I come back here to LBL display, okay, I could set the font color to something else. Okay, so let's come down here and see what I can see. Okay, uh, or sorry, the, the LBL display text color too. So, if I drag that block out, Okay, so, and again, what, what color do I want to set it to? So if I come over here to my built-ins, I can see colors. And let's say I want to set it to this green color here. Okay, so I'll plug that green color into that, like so. Okay, and I want this to happen as well when the hello button is clicked. So I'm going to take this up, okay, and click it in there. Okay, so you can see uh, there when I when I actually have uh, this that this line of code is going to execute it's going to say hello world and then this line of code is going to execute that of the text color will be set to this lime green so let's test this out see if it works 
Uh, so why am I here? Uh, get this up. So I'll click say hello. And you can see there that the say hello world or hello world has come up in, in uh, text, in green text. Um, again, you could I could have changed the font or anything I could possibly say on that. Okay, let's look at again if I wanted to change Hello World. Okay, I could put on uh, test test, and again this is going to whatever we have to set the text to. That's what's going to appear. So again, if I I could again if I wanted to change another or add another set to. Okay, I could actually come along here and I'll say, let's say, set LBL font size, or the background color, that would be a better one there. Let's set the background color to something. Okay, and now this will be the background color of the label itself. Okay, so let's change that color and we'll say yellow here. Okay, and I'll click that in and then click that into my button click event. So now you can see when hello button is clicked, this line of code will execute, this line of code, and this line of code. Okay, so let's test that. Let's see if everything's working okay. Say hello, click on that, and you can see hello, hello, hello world, test, test, in the green color, and the background is yellow. I don't know if you can see that correctly here in the video, but it is yellow uh, there. Okay, let's uh, take this a bit further. I'll stop this video here, and what we'll uh, in the next video we'll look at um, uh, what happens if we have text boxes on the screen and how we can actually uh, work that one. Okay, thank you for your attention.